Hey, Allo fam. My name is Victoria Gibbs, and I am so excited to be here today. I'm so grateful for this opportunity, and I'm so grateful that you've chosen to join me on your mat. Today's class, we're going to focus on breathing to start. We'll segue into some core work, a few spine awakening exercises, we'll jump into the flow, and we'll end with a nice juicy yoga nidra. This is going to be an awesome 60 minutes. You're here, you've showed up, now let's put in the work. Grab your mats, blocks, towel, water, whatever you need for class, and let's have fun. Let's make your way into a comfortable seated position. You can either sit cross-legged or sit on your heels. Gently place your hands over your knees and close your eyes. Hmm. Begin to deepen your breathing. Let your mind relax. Let your face relax. Feel for your shoulders falling away from your ears. Root down through your sits bones as you lengthen through your crown of head. With every inhale breath, feel for your rib cage expanding. Let go of your morning. Let go of your afternoon. And just be here. We'll begin with five deep inhale breaths, where we inhale for a count of 10, hold our breath at the top for a count of 10, and take a slow exhale for a count of 10. If it feels stressful at any point, take an extra breath. We'll take a deep inhale to start. And empty your lungs completely. Inhale for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Exhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a deep inhale breath. Slow, steady exhale on your own. One more deep inhale breath. Slow, steady exhale on your own. Go back to normal breathing. Set an intention for class. And be grateful to yourself for taking the time to get on your mat today. Mindfully open your eyes. And let's begin in bridge pose. So lie down flat on your mat. Feet are hips width distance apart. Walk your heels in so that they touch the tips of your fingers. Shoulders relaxed, hands down by your side. Take a deep inhale breath into your upper chest. Exhale, root down through your heels and lift your hips up. 
whole time, we want to keep the glutes and thighs engaged. Low belly is pulled in and close your ribs. Feel for your inner groins reaching down towards the floor. And just find your breath. Let your shoulders relax. Let your face relax. More advanced, more adventurous, feel free to lift all 10 toes up off of your mat for active toes. Whole time, keep rooting down through your heels. Lift your hips up, don't let the hips drop. Want to start to activate our legs here. Glutes and thighs engage the whole time. And just take three more deep inhale breaths here. Put a smile on your face. Just let your jaw relax. And let your mind relax. Take one more deep inhale breath. Legs should be burning at this point if you're working them correctly. And slowly lower down two sides of your upper back, middle back, and lower back. Nice. Straddle abdominals. Reach your toes up towards the ceiling. Open your legs into straddle. Flex your feet. Clasp your hands behind your head. Inhale, lift your head, chin, chest, shoulder blades up off of your mat. Exhale, lift your butt up off the mat and pull your low belly down. Inhale to lower your pelvis, but keep your shoulder blades up. Exhale, Lift your tailbone up, pull your low belly down, extend through your heels, lower your pelvis, exhale, lift your sits bones up, pull your low belly down, inhale to lower your pelvis, two more, exhale, lift your butt up, pull your low belly down, keep your shoulder blades up, inhale to lower your pelvis, last one, exhale, lift your butt up and pull your low belly down. Slowly lower down, use your hands, bring your legs back to center. Hands down by your side, palms flat on your mat, and we'll take some leg lifts. So keep your feet flexed, and just lower your legs down onto the floor. Slowly lift them back up. Keep your low belly down the whole time. Lower down for nine. Find your breath. Lift up your kneecaps, lower down for eight. Keep your whole spine flat on the floor. We don't want that little cubby hole underneath your lower lumbar. Lower down for seven. Back up, lower down for six. Keep your ribs closed. Back up, lower down, and up. Lower down, kneecaps lifted, thighs engaged, feet are flexed. Lower down for three. Almost there. For two. Let your face relax, mind relax. Lower down, keep your low belly pulled in. And back up, nice. Woo, cross at your ankles. And let's roll up onto all fours for cat cow. Place your hands shoulder width distance apart, knees are hips width distance. Press the tops of your feet down. Inhale, drop your belly towards the floor, plug your shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round your spine and push the floor away. Deep inhale, drop your belly. This is my favorite way to warm up the spine. Exhale, pull your belly button up and in, and push the floor away. Three more, deep inhale, drop your belly, reach your sits bones up, press the tops of your feet down. Exhale, round your spine, top of your spine reaches up towards the ceiling. Inhale, drop your belly, and look up. Exhale, chin to chest, push the floor away. Last one, deep inhale, lower your belly, reach your sits bones up. Exhale, round your spine and push the floor away. Beautiful, inhale, come back to center and let's slide into puppy pose or cat stretch. 
So keep your knees where they are, feet where they are. Just walk your hands out directly in front of you. This is an active stretch. Palms flat, fingers wide. Press your arms down into your mat. Feel for your shoulders pushing down into the mat as well. Whole time with every exhale breath, feel for your upper chest moving forward and down into the mat. And just find your breath. If you're more advanced, feel free to tend up onto your fingertips or bring your hands into prayer and bend at the elbow. Whatever is available to you today, this is your practice. I'm just guiding you through it. So listen to your body and give it what it needs. We'll hold for three. Deep inhale, breath for two. One more time, press the tops of your feet down, sits bones reach up, and feel for your upper chest moving forward and down. Good, slowly release. And let's slide into Sphinx Pose. So keep your forearms where they are, flat on the mat. Press the tops of your feet down, lift your kneecaps up glutes and thighs engaged. Hold time, plug your shoulder blades down and back and pull the mat towards you. Back of heart moves forward and up. Let your face relax. Let your jaw relax. We carry so much tension in our face and our neck. The best we can do is find your breath and focus on deep, Slow, steady inhales. Whole time, push your pelvis down, chest up, pull the mat towards you one more time. Forearm plank. Keep your forearms where they are, tuck your back toes, lift your hips up off of your mat. Whole time, root down through your thumb and index knuckle. You want your shoulders stacked over your elbows, glutes and thighs engaged and keep your low belly pulled in. And make sure you push your forearms firmly down into your mat. Close that gap in between your scapula. It's so easy to sink down here and think we're doing it. We're not doing it. Push the floor away. Hollow out your upper chest. We'll hold for three. Keep your back of neck light and long. For two. Dolphin pose. Walk your feet in towards your elbow points. Hold time, head and neck relaxed. Reach your heels down towards the floor as you reach your sits bones up. Send your breath into the back of your heart, back of your lungs, back of your rib cage. Still early in class here. If you're feeling kind of tight, just put a slight bend in your kneecap. Hold time, feel for stomach to thighs. Root down through your forearms. Head and neck relax, we'll hold for three. Push your forearms down into your mat. If your legs are straight, lift up your kneecaps, reach your sits bones up for two. One-legged dolphin, keep everything the same. Lift your right leg up for five. This is the point where we tend to get a little bit tired here. Stick with the work, stay interested. Push your forearms down into your mat for three. Spin your right hip down, reach right big toe back and up and lift up your kneecap for two. Nice, one, lower the right leg down. Left leg up for five. Toe is pointed. Push your forearms down into your mat. Keep the stack of your shoulders over your elbows for three. Deep inhale breath for two. Reach left big toe back and up one more time. Good, lower the left leg down. Bend your knees, straighten your arms, and let's push up into downward facing dog. This first down dog, move around however you want.
tread through your feet, rise up onto your tiptoes. Take a three-legged down dog if that feels good to you. Just warming up the body here. Stay mindful, stay aware, and listen to your body. The yoga teaches us to listen. Head and neck relaxed and take two deep inhale breaths here. The whole time push the floor away. Reach your sits bones up. Head and neck relaxed. Let's take a few spinal rolls. So inhale, roll through your spine as you forward to plank pose and hold. Exhale, bend your knees, curve your tailbone, push back into downward facing dog. We'll take another slow one like that. Inhale, roll through your spine, forward to plank and hold. Exhale, bend your knees, curve your spine, downward facing dog. Do this a few more times at your own pace. The blood flow through your body. Find your breath. Just let your body flow like water. For three, two, one. When you're ready, find a still version of your down dog. Let's rise up onto our tiptoes. Walk your feet to your hands. Keep your feet hips width distance apart. Still feeling kind of tight, slight bend in the knee. Let your arms hang heavy, either grab for opposite elbows or clasp your hands behind your back. Hands clasped behind the back gives you a nice shoulder stretch. Whole time, weight is in the balls of your feet. Just let your head and neck fall off. Deep inhale, breath. Release your arms and let's roll up through our spine, vertebra by vertebra. Good. Head and neck are last to come up. Hmm. Take a moment, come to the top of your mat, bring your feet together, hands to heart center. Root down through your feet, plug your shoulder blades down and back. And just take a deep inhale breath. Beautiful. Let's begin with sun A. Inhale, reach your arms up, palms together, see your thumbs. Exhale to forward fold. When you hit the bottom of your forward fold, push the floor away. Inhale, take a half lift, scoop your chest forward. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back to plank and lower halfway into chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog, hips up and look up. Exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, walk or jump, feet to hands, take a half lift. Exhale, forward fold, keep your weight forward. Inhale, reach your arms up, palms together, see your thumbs. Exhale, dive back down into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to plank, lower halfway, elbow points in. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog, shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, walk or jump, feet to hands, half lift. Exhale, Forward Fold, push the floor away. Inhale, reach your arms up, palms together. Last one, exhale, dive back down into your Forward Fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to plank, 
lower halfway. Keep your hips up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press the tops of your feet down. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll hold for three. If you need to, pedal for your feet. For two. Four arm stand balance. So with or without the wall, with or without a block. If you're using a block already in your forearm stand balance, you know what you're doing. If you don't need the block, just grab for opposite elbows, place your forearms down, root down for your thumb and index knuckle. Find your dolphin pose first. Whatever your kicking leg is, reach that leg up, point your toe, and transition your weight for five. Push your forearms down into your mat firmly for four. Toes reach up towards the ceiling, glutes and thighs engaged for three. Keep your low belly pulled in for two. Push your forearms down one more time. Toes reach up, glutes and thighs engaged, ribs closed. And slowly lower down. Nice, tuck your back toes, push back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, walk or jump, feet to hands, take a half lift. Exhale, forward fold, push the floor away. Inhale, reach your arms up, palms together, see your thumbs. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. Sun B, chair pose, inhale, bend your knees, and reach your arms up. We'll hold here for three. Drop your sits bones down for two. Close your ribs. Twisting chair, bring your hands to heart center. Right elbow outside of your left knee and push against your knee. I love to throw this in. It's a great way to warm up the spine. Really push against your knee to deepen the twist. Keep reaching your sits bones down. Plug your shoulder blades down and back. Take a deep inhale breath. Good, inhale back to center, switch sides. Left elbow outside of your right knee and push against your knee. Whole time weight is in your heels. Shoulder blades down and back. And really push against your knee. If it's available to you, gaze up towards the ceiling. Deep inhale, breath. Good. Come back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to plank. Lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Warrior one, inhale, bring your right foot forward. It's your back leg to stand up and reach your arms up. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Warrior one, inhale, left foot forward and reach your arms up. Really pick up your chest, reach fingertips up, out and away. Exhale, hands down, step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, walk or jump, feet to hands, take a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. Again, chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back to plank, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Warrior one, inhale, right foot forward. 
and reach your arms up. Twisting warrior, bring your hands to heart center, left elbow outside of your right knee, and push against your knee. I like to hold the traditional warrior one, but if you have a bind or some sort of variation that you wanna take, go ahead and take it. Hold time, shoulder blades are plugged down and back. Back leg is firm, low belly is pulled in. Pyramid fold. Release your hands, straighten your front leg. Bring your back leg in a couple of inches. Inhale, take a half lift, square your hips. Push down evenly through both feet. Exhale, forward fold over your right leg. Whole time, stomach to thighs. And if it's available to you, face to shins. Kneecaps are lifted, thighs engaged to protect your hamstring. This is an active stretch. Take a moment here, catch your breath. I know that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Lengthen through your crown of head, push down evenly through your feet. Standing split. Inhale, take a half lift. Shift your weight forward. Depending on how flexible you are, how advanced you are, you can push both hands firmly down into the floor. More advanced, wrap your right forearm behind your right calf and ankle and pull. Hold time, right kneecap is lifted. Reach left big toe back and up and lengthen through your crown of head. And so important to keep the back of neck light and long. A lot of people end up here with the crunched back of the neck. Want to find that length. This is a spinal lengthening exercise. We'll hold for three. Deep inhale, breath for two. More advanced, feel free to hop into handstand. Less advanced, feel free to step back and flow through your vinyasa. Hold for three, wherever you are. For two. I'm working on the handstand, guys. Really push the floor away if you're in the handstand. Keep one point of focus. Slowly lower down. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Warrior one, inhale, bring your left foot forward. Reach your arms up. Hold time, pick up your pelvis. Suck your left hip back in space. You wanna try to square your hips. Twisting warrior, hands to heart center, right elbow outside of your left knee, and push against your knee. Outer edges of both feet on the floor. Shoulder blades are plugged down and back. If you took an arm variation on the first side, go ahead and take it on the second side. Body heat should be high right now. If you're not sweating, work a little harder, engage more of those muscles. You know what to do. Take one more deep inhale breath. Pyramid fold, release your hands, straighten your front leg, bring your back leg in a couple of inches. Inhale, take a half lift to prepare. Kneecaps are lifted, find that flat back. Exhale, forward fold over your left leg. Whole time, push down evenly through both feet and lengthen through your crown of head. You want to feel for stomach to thighs and face to shins. Deep inhale, breath. Standing split, inhale, take a half lift. Shift your weight forward over your left leg. More advanced. Wrap your left forearm behind your calf and grab your ankle. Whole time, push that right palm down into your mat. Reach right big toe back and up. 
Left kneecap is lifted to stabilize the posture and keep your back of neck light and long. We'll hold for three. Shoulders move away from your ears for two. Either hop into handstand or flow through your vinyasa. Can't handstand press on this side, but it's important to keep the body even. So I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> Not bad. Push the floor away, toes pointed, keep one point of focus. and slowly lower down wherever you are and flow through your vinyasa. Good, let's finish the sun. Inhale, walk or jump, feet to hands, take a half lift. Exhale, forward fold, push the floor away. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms up, we'll hold for three. Weight is in your heels. Pick up your chest for two. Drop your butt down, challenge yourself. One, inhale to come up. Exhale, hands down by your side. Let's take a Bikram half moon. Inhale, reach your arms up. Clasp your hands into Kali Mudra. Index fingers reach up. Firm your legs. Squeeze your palms together. Squeeze your elbows in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend your upper body up and over to the right for five. Push hips to the left, fingers reach to the right for four. Kneecaps are lifted, firm your legs for three. Find your breath, pick up your chin for two. One, inhale to come up, reach up, exhale, bend your upper body up and over to the left for five. Close your ribs, really root down through your feet for four. Pick up your chin, squeeze palms together for three. Deep inhale, breath for two. Really push hips to the right, fingers reach to the left. Good, one, inhale to come up. Exhale, hands to heart center, down by your side. Let's take a Padangustasana. So feet are hips width distance apart. Bring your hands to your waistband. Plug your elbow points in. Firm your legs. Just take a slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your big toe with your thumb and index finger and pull on your big toe. Whole time, elbow points move back. Feel for shoulders moving away from your ears and lengthen through your crown of head. Deep, slow, steady breathing. Padahastasana. Inhale, take a half lift. Step on your hands, bring your toes to your wrists and pull your elbows wide to the side. Again, keep your weight in the balls of your feet. Weight is so far forward, you have to engage your kneecaps and thighs. Head and neck falls off here. And send your breath into the back of your heart, back of your lungs, back of your rib cage. Crow pose. Inhale, take a half lift. Release your hands. Place your hands shoulder width distance apart. Rise up onto your tiptoes. If you're new to crow, just bring your knees into your armpits. Or bend at the elbow. Bring up one leg at a time. All that crow, you know what you're doing already. And hop on in. Crow is one of those postures. It's definitely harder than it looks. Whole time, push the floor away. Pull your low belly in. Bring your heels up towards your butt and really grip the floor with your fingertips. We'll hold for three, two. 
Step or jump back to plank and lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a low lunge. Inhale, bring your right foot forward. Bring your left knee down. And for this low lunge, let's keep our back toes tucked. Reach your arms up, clasp your hands overhead. Pick up your rib cage, pick up your chest. Just take a slight back bend here. Whole time down through your heel and relax that left hip flexor. Find your breath, reach fingertips out and away as you pick up your rib cage. Slowly come up, bring your hands down, step back to plank and lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Low lunge, inhale, left foot forward. Keep your back toes tucked and reach your arms up overhead. Pick up your rib cage. Really relax that right hip flexor. One day your hip flexor will kiss the floor. Root down through your left heel. Just find your breath. Relax your face, relax your jaw. Reach fingertips out and away. Inhale to come up. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa. Take a kapiyasana. Inhale, right foot forward. This time, untuck your back toes. Again, we want knee over ankle for form. Suck that right hip back in space. Relax your left hip flexor. Really root down through your right heel. Left glute and thigh engage. Clasp your hands overhead, index fingers reach up, hands in Kali Mudra. Inhale, reach up, look up, reach back for five. Stay connected to your breath for four. Really deep stretch in that left hip flexor for three. Trust yourself. Reach back. Go back. Try to find your ankle if that's available to you. Just take one deep inhale breath here. Good. Slowly come up. Heel to butt, place your hand over your knee, bend your left knee, bring your heel in towards your butt. This is one of those postures you're gonna find an intense stretch at the top of the thigh. Whole time, suck your right hip back in space. We don't want open hips here. You're not really gonna get any benefit out of it. Best thing to do, square your hips. Take the tension out of your face, out of your shoulders. Find your breath and just move at your body's own rate of release. Shouldn't feel painful either, but you should definitely feel something. Hold time, keep your low belly in, just let your shoulders relax. Take a deep inhale breath as you relax your hip flexor down towards the floor. Good, slowly release. Tuck your back toes, hands down. Step back to plank, vinyasa. Good. Let's take that kapiyasana on the left leg. So bring the left foot forward, untuck your back toes. Again, we wanna look at form here. We want knee over ankle. Spin that right hip down. Engage the glute and thigh. Reach the arms up, pick up your chest, hands in Kali Mudra. Inhale to reach up, reach back for five. Deep, slow, steady breathing for four. Engage your glute and thigh to stabilize the posture for three. 
Try to see the back wall. Grab your ankle if that's available to you for two. Chest up, head and neck relaxed. Find your breath. Good. Inhale to come up. Heel to butt, place your left hand over your knee. Bend your right knee, bring your heel in towards your butt. Let your shoulders relax. Pick up your low belly, close your ribs. This is my tight side. We all have one. One side is always tighter than the other. It's perfectly fine. Just means you should do this, the tight side twice, the tight side twice as long. Every exhale breath, just feel for your heel moving closer towards your butt. Let your shoulders relax. Let your face relax. Just settle in here. Deep inhale breath. Slowly release. Tuck your back toes, hands down. Step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna take a three-legged vinyasa. So inhale, reach your right leg up. Toe is pointed. Inhale, three-legged plank. Lower halfway. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really engage your core here. Three more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. This is a power flow. Stick with it. Last one, inhale, exhale. Building strength all over the body. Good, right leg down, left leg up. Inhale, forward to three-legged plank. Lower halfway. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Three more, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, yes, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, stick with it, arms are burning, lower halfway, inhale up, exhale down, Woo. find your down dog, and just take a moment, shake your butt, so let your head and neck relax. Find your breath. Good. Let's take a camel pose. Inhale, roll over your toes and stand on your knees. Bring your hands to your waistband. Pull your elbow points in. Lengthen through your crown of head. Inhale, look up, look back. For five, head and neck relaxed, glutes and thighs engaged. For four, if it's available to you, grab your heels, thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside for three. Find your breath, chest reaches up, pull on your heels to deepen the stretch in your upper spine. One more deep inhale. Bring your hands to your waistband. Slowly come up. Hmm. Take a moment, sit on your heels. Place your hands over your knees. Take a few breaths to reconnect to your body. Reconnect to your breath. Slow down your heart. Just let your shoulders relax. And let your mind relax. Camel's one of those postures that brings up a lot of sensations. Just embrace them, acknowledge them, and let them go. 
Paschimottanasana. Let's come to seated. Extend your legs out directly in front of you. Feet are flexed, root down through your sits bones. Pick up your rib cage, pick up your chest. Exhale, forward fold. More advanced, clasp your hands behind around the soles of your feet. Grab your big toe with your thumb and index finger if you're a little less advanced. Can't do that at all, it's perfectly fine. Open your legs, hips width distance apart. Bend your knees, flex your feet. And grab your big toe. The point of this posture, it's a spine lengthening exercise. We want to keep the spine long. It's a big misconception to round the spine. It's not doing anything for us. Pick up your chest, pick up your rib cage, plug your shoulder blades down and back, and pull. Of course, if you're more advanced, you know what to do. Stomach to thighs, and eventually face to shins. But whole time, sits bones reach back, kneecaps are lifted, thighs are engaged. We'll hold for three. Shoulders move away from your ears for two. Janyushir Shasana, inhale to come up. Keep your right leg extended, sole of your left foot inside of your thigh. Foot is flexed, pick up your rib cage. Exhale, forward fold over your right leg. Whole time, feel for left side rib cage moving forward and down. Back of neck is light and long. And if you're able to grab the sole of your foot, really pull on your foot to deepen the stretch. One day crown of head will touch your big toe. Inhale to come up, exhale, switch sides. Left leg extended, sole of your right foot inside of your thigh. Pick up your rib cage, pick up your chest. Exhale, forward fold over your left leg. Deep, slow, steady breathing. Reach your sits bones back, lengthen through your crown of head. Good, inhale to come up. Marichyasana, let's extend the right leg out. Bring your left heel in towards your pelvis. Reach your left arm up, inside and around your left leg. Clasp your hands behind your back. Whole time, root down through your sits bone. Embrace the stretch in your left hip as you lengthen through your crown of head. Good, inhale to come up. How are you guys doing over there? <laughs> Extend your left leg out, right heel in towards your pelvis. Reach your right arm up, inside, and around your left leg. Excuse me, your right leg. Hold time, low belly stays in, shoulder blades down and back as you lengthen through your crown of head. Just find your breath. Good, slowly release, let's come back to center. Upward stretching, wrap your forearms behind your calves and grab your heels. If you're more advanced, or excuse me, less advanced, legs in tabletop, perfectly fine. Even less advanced, just work on the form, toes pointed, you can stay here. More advanced, straighten your legs up towards the ceiling. You want pointed toes, Pull on your heels. Shoulders move away from your ears. That leverage of pulling on your heels will help you to lengthen your spine. We'll hold for five. Deep, slow, steady breathing for four. Toes pointed, keep one point of focus for three. Deep inhale, breath for two. Navasana, keep your legs where they are, arms parallel to the floor, we'll hold for five. Chest up for four. Deep inhale, breath for three. Kneecaps are lifted, thighs engaged for two. 
Thunderbolt, hands down, forehead to knees, low belly in for three, two, back to boat pose, hold for five, chest up, stay interested for four, shoulder blades down and back, let the legs shake, embrace it, you're working hard, mine are shaking for three, deep inhale breath for two, thunderbolt, hands down, forehead to knees for three, two, slowly release, shake it out. Woo. Let's take a wheel pose. Lie down flat on your mat. If wheel's not available to you, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and take a bridge pose. If you're doing the wheel, palms flat, elbow points up and in, fingers reach towards your shoulders. Root down through your heels, take a deep inhale breath into upper chest. Exhale, push up, we'll hold for five. If you're more advanced, walk your hands in towards your heels for three. Glutes and thighs engaged, hips up for two. More feeling comfortable here, bring your chest forward as you wrap your elbow points up and in. Head and neck relax for three. Don't sink into your shoulders. Really push the floor away. Strong stance, root down through your heels. For two. One. Slowly release. Nice. Plow pose. Extend your legs out. Toes pointed, bring your legs up and overhead. More flexible, clasp your hands behind your back. Reach your sits bones up. Neck relaxed, face relaxed, jaw relaxed. Take three deep inhale breaths here. Wherever you are, release your arms and slowly roll down through your spine. Once your toes reach up towards the ceiling, bring your legs into tabletop, arms out to the side like airplane wings. Spin both knees up and over to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Let your legs hang heavy. Let your arms hang heavy. Bring your legs back to center and switch sides. Find your breath. Good. Slowly make your way back to center and extend your legs out directly in front of you for our final Savasana. So let your arms splay out wide. Let your feet splay out wide. Let your body hang heavy and let the floor hold you up. Let your hair relax. Let your mind relax. Let your forehead relax. Let your eyebrows relax. Let your eyeballs relax. Let your nose relax. 
Let your cheeks relax. Let your jaw relax. Let your tongue relax. Let your chin relax. Let your neck relax. Let your throat relax. Let your shoulders relax. Let your triceps relax. Let your biceps relax. Let your elbows relax. Let your forearms relax. Let your wrists relax. The tops of your hands, palms, fingers, and fingernails relax. Let your collarbones relax. Let your chest relax. Let your heart relax. Let your ribcage relax. Let your stomach relax. Let your pelvis relax. Let your hips relax. Let the tops of your thighs, sides of your thighs, backs of your thighs relax. Let your knees relax. Let your calves relax. Let your shins relax. Let your ankles relax. The tops of your feet, soles of your feet, toes and toenails relax. Let your glutes relax. Let your upper spine, middle spine, and lower spine relax. Just let your whole body completely relax. Be grateful for the work that you put in today. Be grateful to yourself for showing up. With your eyes closed, Slowly make your way into a comfortable seated position. Gently place your hands over your knees. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for taking the time to connect with me today. It was a beautiful experience. It was an awesome class. I'm so grateful, and I cannot wait for you guys to join me again next time. Again, be sure to check in to Allo Moves on their page. We have free classes all month long. They're awesome. As you can see, full studio experience, so please join us again. My name is Victoria Gibbs, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Namaste. Mm -hmm.